button? The button. It is free. It broke its cage. The button is out! Yes! Yes! And... Grips Wars? Session... Whatever session this is, Crash will put the number on later. Nine. Eight. Nine. I will not. Ah, Nine. so we've got... <laughs> uh, with Homebrew, Star Wars, using the GURP system, with Crash and Ellie and EO, and despite numerous technical difficulties and the dialyzer going, Konnichiwa, 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 we're here! So, um, and people can, can explain what they think happened last time, and... I can correct any misapprehensions if necessary, and we go from there. Yes? I'm trying to get this TM out off the map, but I can't pick it up. Oh, I need to probably hit the spaceport. Just a moment. Where did Founding that Founding box go? is in the way of two PCs. Ah. Come on, where is it? There's that. Okay. All right, I don't have to hit the spacebar. It does not seem to be paused. TM out is moved. Okay. I love that the first out of context quote for today is about not being able to pick up Tiamat. And also someone has put <laughs> the giant plastic lawn flamingo uh, tarasque oh. on top of the ship. Uh, Look, it was at a yard sale. I couldn't say no to that face. I feel like what we ought to do with this is put it on top of the... Uh, <laughs> the, the top blasters so that you know you, you oh my be, gosh yes spit, mounted to the blasters the... so that when it rotates <laughs> the whole head just zips around right yeah Hi, so it shoots out the, the blaster pew 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 <laughs> right so um... the Tarask is our gunner <laughs> no no the Tarask is your gun <laughs> Anyway, uh, so what happened last time? Who wants to do the recap? Um, our Faraday cage to keep the Force Ghosts away didn't work. Uh, however, Rotini is still going to believe that he was right the entire time because it was some kind of transmission. It's just someone who's Force-sensitive creating a, a haunting of a particular uh, researcher who's been so traumatized they have changed specialties. We don't know that. Well, we know that they were involved in a paper that was researching one thing involving kyber crystals, which could be very, very destructive or very useful, depending on whose hands they're in. Uh, Rotini's hands are the wrong hands, but never mind about that. And they switched to studying cultures, which I think is as far away from kyber crystals as you can get without special specific circumstances. Um, with Zolrak whose name I will never pronounce correctly, but I will try to get close occasionally. Rotini won't, but Crash will. Um, with Jorok figuring that out and letting us know, we were we decided, well, you know, there's more research we could do if we weren't in hyperspace and if we had access to a data feed. It, it, would, it would really be useful. It would be serendipitous, possibly, even, if we had an Alderanian on board that we were dropping off at Alderaan where we might be able to, you know, make a deal for said data feed. And that went swimmingly well. Somebody has their cabin back now. Somebody smells strongly of perfume now. Mm -hmm. Why Why did we tell them that accurately, <laughs> the accurate statement that scent is involved in Java speech? They think they're being helpful. They really do. And that just makes it worse, because how are you going to yell at them for that? Um, but the best part about it was right at the end, after we made a deal with whoever owns the, the property that we dropped this traveler off at, uh, to provide them with some power while they provide us with the data feed. And, you know, maybe we make some money along the way too. Uh, the Alderanian, as they got off the ship was carrying a thermos that unlike the rest of everything that is near them. Um, was not garishly and flamboyantly designed. Instead, it radiated danger. Danger, Will Robinson. And even the impulsive, overconfident uh -huh. crew members of this ship took one look at that thermos and said, <laughs> y'all need a dead man switch? So we know if we're providing power to a dead house. 
We know you said that thing. I would is like to note that I am not impulsive. Right. But are you overconfident? So Rock is not him. Yes. Yes, literally everyone in the party is. And did you sense danger from that thermos? <laughs> well, yes, but I'm pretty sure I could squish that one too if it came to it. And I will be right behind you. I'll have your back because I'll be hiding behind you the entire time. <laughs> and I think that's where we ended it. That sounds about right. Oh, we we ended it on the note of um, Zisha asking Rotini if there was any kind of thing that could be weaponized that we could just you know place in the airlock so that we could drop it on this house if necessary. And that's the oil bath. It, it has a spin cycle. We spin it up to maximum, which um, I actually haven't ever done that. Um, I've gotten it pretty fast, but you get enough centrifugal force in that, and you let it hit a solid object on the way down, and that energy has to go somewhere. I've never designed an explosive without the explosive before, but I think this might be it. You're very pleased by it with yourself. You can't see a Jawa smiling, but there's a Jawa smiling. Although we're going to need another oil bath. If you use this one, you might actually be able to, you know, salvage it. Um, if we can salvage it after we use it for this purpose, then I did something wrong. <laughs> you don't think you can reverse it? All right. Okay, so you are down one old Iranian. The, turning the oil bath into a weapon of wash destruction. And and really, all that would involve is spin, moving it to the airlock, probably with an extension cord to power it, and spinning it up as fast as it goes, and Zisha flies over top of the building, which is already somewhat dismantled because Imperial bombing, and we let it fall out the airlock. Uh, it's like a tungsten rod. And you hope rod. that whatever you're blowing up does... And you hope that you aren't blowing up anything that acts like Grey Goo. I mean, we'll already be airborne, so... It won't be our problem. So who cares about Alderaan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who cares about Alderaan? Got it, got it. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure Alderaan will be around forever. It's true, until the sun expands, and, and I mean, that can sort of scorch things up and maybe melt it into an asteroid belt or something, but yeah. Maybe by then they'll have figured out how to make hyperspace drives that can move an entire planet, or at least like a, a space station or at least size a of a small moon. moon. Yeah. I'm yeah, pretty sure Alderaan could, will always be around. Definitely. You just look around at these at the mountains and all of these these ancient structures and you just cannot think of a galaxy without Alderaan. These it's so soft and real. Will stand the test of time. <laughs> or something anyway. Okay, you also have a researcher who would like, is it safe to get out and walk around any, do do you all think? <clears throat> Stretch your legs, get some fresh air, maybe wander up to the estate and, and talk to people and about, about libraries? Do you think they have a library? I hand her my data pad, which is already connected sure to do. the stream. Oh, yes, but I need to talk to the people here, too, because I'm researching. I scroll down to the well directory. If anyone gives you any trouble, tell them that the people who are keeping their lights on sent you. Very much. Um, Utini. Stay away from pickles. Utinini. Okay, I'm tolerating this. I really am, but she needs to stop switching her adverbs and adjectives. They're not the same. At least she isn't spritzing you with perfume. This is true, but I have not yet taken off the waterproof poncho. <laughs> This is probably wise. It, it's a clear waterproof poncho. I don't want to hide the fact that I'm wearing a nondescript brown robe. <clears throat> the mental image. Assuming no one stops her, she will pat Rotini on the head and nod at people and wander out. And okay, you're basically on what used to be an old Iranian noble house's personal private landing pad that can, in fact, fit a medium small Corellian freighter. It's a little broken up, but Zisha lands landed it really well, etc. And they still have like extension cords and whatnot. And you know, 
a refueling thing and all the all the usual things that a small little landing pad space pad for an altering noble house would normally have they seem to have repaired that fairly well there's a set of blocks and pillars that are all kind of battered down but there's enough space cleared for a large slightly winding ramp up the mountainside to where the manor house which looks fancy we'll go with fancy an older radian and it doesn't have too many holes in it you know yes it can fit a small corellian freighter the size of a medium corellian freighter definitely so that is where your research has gone winding up as you came over the place anyone who was actually watching the out the windows would have seen that there's various small probably higher tech than they look from the top towns underneath the wood cover the, the wooded covering so you know you, you'd be want if you were down on the ground you'd be going woods 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 oh hey i'm in downtown woods 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 oh downtown of this other little patch over here you know that kind of thing so that's basically what you're at and there are little paths that could lead look like they could lead down if you want to take you know a hover craft down and and go to places and ah uh, and wow, my words are not doing too great, even if I did actually th- maybe have eight hours sleep. Yeah, Woods Woods, Crater, Downtown Woods, AMC Theater Woods. Yes, that's exactly right. That's exactly right, Crash. So, has a spirit Halloween banner across it. Probably. Except, you know, it's, it's, in, it's, a, spirit ha- <laughs> it's a spirit Halloween in, in you know, uh, Star Wars icon- iconography. I think we found where the haunting is coming from. I go in and come out with a master, <laughs> like a jack o' lantern. Everyone gives you candy. They think you're you're a kid and dressed up like a Jawa. Um, no. I uh, I feel conflicted wait, wait, about dissuading them of their opinion <laughs> because candy. Do you have any idea how powerful this fun size Snickers would be if I converted it into an explosive? I'm you just saying. You have not seen the pa- you have not Martini. yet witnessed the full power you... of the calories in this Snickers bar. No, no, no. You have not yet witnessed the full power of the dark chocolate. Oh, no. I'm not converting dark chocolate into an explosive. That is for me. <laughs> <laughs> you I appreciate they... your restraint in not covering everything in sugar. Did you say Rip. sweet things? Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, Billy. I was just going to say that Rotini learned that they calculate the, they calculate the caloric value of food with something called a bomb calorimeter, and got very excited. <laughs> Fair. Calories equal energy is all I'm saying about this. Before we move on, <laughs> let's see. You were thinking of trying to call up the local Republic military, if I recall, to tell them that something dangerous may be with the house that you're at. Is that accurate? Yes, I think so. Okay. I had a, I had a pinned message for that. All right. Grab the pinned message and we can read it into the record for the court reporter. Do you want to read that or shall I? You may read it. Zisha is going to contact the Republic military and let them know that the passenger I just let off at these coordinates has something in a stasis tube that seems dangerous, and that while I'm providing power to this installation temporarily, I may have to take off quickly, and if I do, I will let them know and give them coordinates so they can start bombing again. Okay, technically it's not a stasis tube. It's a, a, it's a thermos. I love that. It, that's it looked to me like a stasis clue. tube. Okay. <laughs> Good. I mean, it's it's a small thing that you can hold in in your hands. You know, okay, it's like twelve inches high and you know, three or four inches, five inches across. You know, and it looks it looks like a battered mining person. You know, mining facility thermos that you bring on your person when you're a guy and you know guys, and you are the guy who holds the rocks. And you have your thermos, which probably is supposed to hold like water or something or soup. But what do you have in it? It's probably alcoholic. Anyway, it's that kind of thermos. Thermos so, or in stasis tubes for mil- when you want your coffee to always be fresh. <laughs> I discovered Bill's play what he was doing with the cow. 
concerning. I look you like get... I am the guy who. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the corporal who is com- crewing the comm station is going. Excuse me, what? What was in the the stasis tube that seems dangerous? I don't remember why it seemed dangerous. It seemed dangerous because Zorok looked at it and basically if Zorok has anything resembling hair, it was standing on end. There's something wrong with that. It's not like imminently it's going to blow up dangerous, but there is a sense of danger coming from it. That thing there, that thing there is bad. Also, it felt slightly familiar bad in a weird way. Because Zorok made that person. has hair on their head. Mm Mm-hmm. It's bristling. You can feel it. Rotini would like to not feel the hair on top of Zorok's head. Rotini would need a <laughs> step ladder. Actually, Rotini Indeed. would need a regular ladder, not a step ladder. Yep. Or would or very have to rediscover ladder. the ability to fly. He's done it twice now. <laughs> um, I, I would offer, and I'd be saying this to Zisha because they probably don't speak Jawa. Um, it would be a boring conversation anyway. But the thermos was the most not Alderanian thing that the Alderanian had on them. It was so incongruous that we didn't need a Sith that was Force-sensitive from the dawn of time to tell us it was bad news. It is not the dawn of time. Relatively speaking. And since I'm not the one you with got people a really skills... Bad... Sorry. Mm-hmm. No, no, you go, you go. Since I'm not the one with people skills, I'm assuming that Zisha can translate that into something that um won't make Rotini sound like a crackpot. And as Rotini is thinking <laughs> this thought, Rotini realizes their love of explosives and how that is a very hard job. Zisha, oh, do you God. want to read that out? Sure. I just wanted to write it out first. So Reasonable. Get all my thoughts in order while other people were talking. You have to make sure it's also under 25 words. My engineer noted that it was wildly out of place on the passenger's belongings, and I have a force sensitive on my crew. Uh, don't worry, the Jedi have never expressed interest in them. Who warned me that it was something to be concerned about. You might at least want to ask a, a, a paddleboard to come look at it. A padawan? Yeah, one of the baby Jedi. I don't think they let the baby Jedi wander around loose, but yeah, they get kind of young sometimes. Uh, I don't know if we've got any on planet that are convenient to us at the moment. There's probably some. I can try and requisition one. And okay. you're at the coordinate coordinates. Uh, you're at house house wrist. Oh, house right. arrest. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll see if I can send somebody around to. Go check on it, sure. <laughs> okay, you know the GM is doing a good job when their offspring is typing in all caps in the chat. <laughs> Saying, darn it, Bob, of course it's the Criffing Wrists. That's spelled R-I-S-T instead of W-R-A-S-T for anyone who is concerned and doesn't know Star Wars very well or whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to keep a straight face at or this because I have no idea who the wrists Star are. Wars very, or does know Star Wars very well <laughs> and therefore thinks that they oh. might name <laughs> something wrist with a W. No, no. I mean, they might have been named that way and then someone <laughs> pulled the W off because, I, yeah. <laughs> The great houses are all named after body parts. I'll board the head! No, no, no. The great houses are all of varying degrees of great. House Spleen has had a rough time of it. No. House Appendix was taken out. Those be fair. House Organa has some Organs. explanation. Organs. Organs. It's to, or either that or oregano. Oh. No, no, no. That's a mining town Ouch. on Circulus. Oregano? <laughs> oregano. Oh, no. Crash. <laughs> that was like six years ago now. 
I introduced that town. <laughs> and I'm yes. not the one who named it. <laughs> the only reason the party didn't burn it to the ground is <clears throat> it's a salt mine. It's hard to burn salt. You have to get really... It wasn't predominantly made of flammable material. Also, there were a lot of explosives. And a vampire. Lots of vampires. <laughs> I love everything about this. So house torso, house <laughs> neck, house spleen, house duodenum. No. Technically, no, skin know. is considered Do an I organ. Know. House skin. <laughs> Not... <laughs> I don't want to think about that. No. 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 <laughs> hmm. Anyhow. House gallbladder um, was really um, full of itself. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop tormenting. No, no, we have they have other ones. There's House Pentier, there's House Stool, there's House Bayless or Bliss, I'm not sure. There's House Olgo and Terra. What organs are those? Look, this is Star Wars. They probably are organs for alien species. House Gerard, that's sort of like Gizzard, right? And House Alde. You know, and other various other Alde. minor houses. I'm Alde. pretty sure it's Ald. Okay. For the Aldling record, side, been... got it. I have been trying to stay muted so that this session can stay on the rails as much as possible. And then someone had to break their offspring by introducing house wrists. Just for the record, that wasn't me. I can hear the W. I can hear you putting a W on that. I'm just so delighted that you people think that I'm, I'm doing anything fancy here. I just picked... I really just picked names that, you know, were in the Wikipedia. You picked really. the assassins. I'm sure that you weren't transporting an assassin. We were totally transporting an assassin. With a deadly pickle. Something in that thermos. Anyway, they have said that they'll they'll see if they can send a Padawan or somebody to go stare at the thermos or uh, go stare at the stasis tube or whatever. <clears throat> so... Anything else you want to do? You know, take a nap, do some research, wander around, see if you I can find any research. tourism, war torn um, tourism. I have another pinned note here. Uh, Ruccini wants to know if Dr. Tiny, is, because that's how Ruccini remembers him or her or them, <laughs> not not as Dr. Linny Tulewin. 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 Thank you. Uh, not as them. But as Dr. Tiny Llewellyn, but whatever, <laughs> to which the joke that Ellie has said twice now is hold me closer, Tiny Llewellyn. And I have responded <laughs> twice with Tiny Llewellyn in the wine. Ooh, Tiny. Research Dr. Tiny. Got, got to find out if Dr. Tiny made any more research papers after this one we found about the kyber crystals. Is that the moment where all the research assistants went their separate ways and Dr. Tiny stopped researching things? Or is this a red herring and did that continue on afterwards? Okay. I would like to know what other things the other person involved researches, but I cannot navigate these um, polo net search things. I keep ending up on these sites that are complete gibberish. <laughs> Look, it's it's very you found simple. The... All you have to do is type in your search entry and you hit the button here and then you don't go to those sites. Um, this site sometimes useful. This site is only useful if it's not copy pasted from Reddit. Um, this site is you have to translate everything. Okay. Why is it red? Oh, that's a fascinating question. I go into <laughs> a half an hour diatribe about something I know nothing about. So type in your search query so that the GM can just figure out what you're going to get. And someone should probably make a research or at least a computer operations role. Someone who is not me. Well, I mean, you, you could make what you, you could you could make the roll you could roll the dice i'm not gonna say you could make the roll because that that's kind of optimistic isn't it <clears throat> yeah i don't don't really see any computer operation skill on your character sheet here so okay certainly not for this tl 
No, definitely not. I can't not. even roll it for the steel. Indeed. I mean, you could tr- you could try to roll it based off of IQ, but all I'm saying is that Swalrock's approach to this research is um, along <laughs> the lines of Mo's approach to social media. <laughs> I want to say he's getting better, Yay. but he's not getting better. <laughs> In case you were wondering, at some point, there needs to be a discussion for the sake of the recording of Mo's continued social media posts where he thinks he's using a search engine. It's Riker Googling, but a tiefling bard. Done by a tiefling. <laughs> a very powerful tiefling, tiefling bard, but a tiefling bard. He has done a search for dad jokes okay. not to find his material for stand-up, because he's a very skilled bard, but to find out who's stealing his material. <laughs> he doesn't go after them. The more results he finds, the more smug he gets. It feeds his ego. <laughs> he's ego surfing. Pretty much. So right, I okay, so you're going to look for... Skill. I you're going to have to roll... That is not at... intelligence gonna minus fail five. By two. <clears throat> no. Nope, that's not intelligence, minus five. I'm going to say for the record, just like I said last time, he is doing a search for Dr. Tiny Llewellyn. Like, (laughs) this person has fallen off the face of the galaxy. I can find nothing about them. Maybe you need to be in a research database or, like, you know, researchers have their own ways of seeing access to published papers because the universities pay outlandish fees. I do not believe that is the way their name was spelled. I tried to type it phonetically. Alicia said that did not work, did she not? Also, the funny thing here is if Ro- um, not Mike. If Rotini spelled it phonetically, there wouldn't be two L's in a row twice in the last name. Indeed. <laughs> you obviously added a few because, I mean, humans do that. They, they do, don't they? And there's a lot of non-Jawas that just put apostrophes in random places of their name. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm confident I spelled well, it right. Does anyone else want to ass- assist or perform their own searches? I made my computer operational. Okay, let me... To help uh, Zolrock. Ah, you're going to help Zolrock do that. Okay. okay. I thought maybe I'd help Grochini too, but I will worse than Grochini what is your res- it says research on that which is fascinating does that did you type that in or is that something that it can do yes ah you typed it in okay so you made your computer ops it probably works better if you spell it the way that it was spelled on this last paper puff piece thing that you managed to pull up while you were in hyperspace oh cool um so you can provide that assistance there if you want if, since it made computer ops roll someone else could make a roll or you can have another role made or i don't know you could go chase down your researcher and ask her how to do research yeah <laughs> see she helps her team they end up finding a lot of search results that point to a forum where the mods took everything down in protest of something or other yeah probably topical <laughs> very topical <laughs> I mean, someone else is going to have to ask the researcher how to research, and they should probably bring some space ibuprofen with them. It's also possible you might be able to find somebody to give you a hand researching, like, I don't know, a a librarian for a noble house, or maybe they have public libraries down in those little villages. Well, they're sending a Jedi over, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're sending a Jedi up to the, um, to to the main, to the, the... the actual structure house. I don't think they're going to send a Jedi to, like, where you are. I certainly hope not. So I do have a need to research information regarding the Force. So perhaps someone should take a question that is written down to... The Jedi, they send, much as I asking one of them anything. Routini approaches the Jedi, hands a slip of paper. The paper says, <clears throat> Utini. It smells... <laughs> that is why I am writing down... 
That would make it even funnier if you wrote Uchini. <laughs> no. It would have all the that right accents. Me, putting in, hmm? That reminds me, I'm putting another couple hours into written Java. Space Duolingo. Good idea. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know GURPS, I am allowing time use, and I'm telling Ellie to keep track of Zisha's time use on learning written Java. There. Why do we keep calling so it written what sort Java of... and not JavaScript? Because because I haven't had enough sleep, obviously. Because Java and JavaScript are different languages, and written Java is is spoken Java expressed in writing. Dang you and your serious answers to silly questions. On the other hand, I can see written Hadiths being called JavaScript. I don't know why, but there actually is on GitHub. You can get public repositories matching the topic of JavaScript. Well, so, yeah. How do you anyway. think they built that Duolingo <gasps> language pack? Obviously. So it's got to be a typos. It's got to be typos. I'm... Oh, oh no, Star Wars fan and JavaScript is a high-level, untyped, interpreted programming language that served as one of the core technologies of the Holonet during the eras of the Galactic Republic and Galactic Empire. <laughs> it's fanon. It's fanon. You people are already in. <laughs> I am going to. <laughs> there. Now, um, if, if Zorok's player would like to write the note that they wish to be delivered to a Jedi. I'm trying to remember what it is. Okay. Say that again, please, Beth. I'm sorry? Also, Say I did not want... A... Zorok needs to write a... wants to write a note to the, jo... to the I Jedi. Do want... I do not want the note delivered to the Jedi. I am writing down the question so that someone else can ask it. Right. In the meantime, anyone else can discuss the thing, and I'm just going to be sitting here going that SW fanon fanon dot fandom dot com slash wiki slash Jawa script is a page. You can probably find it with that. You know what? Scratch the note thing. I think I am just going to um, ask if someone could ask the Jedi if there is any sort of archive of the Force on this planet. Oh, Which heck, I'm aware out of character is a somewhat inane question, <laughs> but this is not an inane question from Swalrock's point of view, nor is it necessarily something a random person would know from Swalrock's point of view. <laughs> as soon as we're asked to ask this question of somebody, I am immediately going to hop on to my data pad again and just type it in. And I typed it in poorly again. <laughs> well, you say you're going to have to actually put a point into research. I refuse. Perhaps um, not. I'm I'm too <laughs> overconfident to think that's a problem. I I typed in force library and I got a list of physics books. I turned the data pad around to show Zulrock and it says mass times acceleration. What? <laughs> I These cannot dated. fathom why you would think this answers the question. Nor can I fathom why the Holonet thinks this answers the question. I go back one and just show the list of physics books. What am I supposed to do with those? No. You have to explain that it has to be capitalized force. The force. Yeah, right. No, but, well, research. Lack of research. <clears throat> I mean, you this do have a what... researcher. You could probably have someone catch up. This is what you're going to get when I roll 12s, which is exactly what I rolled the last time I researched something. The dice never lie. Let's see. So you want you need to figure out from someone if there's basically a library of materials related to discussing the Force somewhere on the planet. Yeah. Okay. But you probably would have to... You probably need to either send someone to go ask somebody up at the manor house or calm your researcher and ask her i mean presumably she has research skill she left the ship didn't she she went to go walk around she wandered off you'll have to yeah you'll she you last saw her sort of meandering up the pathway towards the manor house looking around curiously at everything hey um csd4 
Yes, sir. Ah, wonderful. Um, I have some questions for our passenger who's gone for a walk. I need someone who has both people skills and a willingness to speak in a language other than Jawa. As a fact, totem droid, I certainly am programmed with 17 different cultural <clears throat> ways to communicate. Wonderful. How do At you least. feel about piggyback rides? I am not sure that you could carry me, sir. Take that image. Reverse it. I do not think I can walk on my hands that way, sir. Could you walk on your feet while I ride on your back? Yes, sir. Right. Would that cause any structural damage or risk structural damage to your chassis? If you are not heavier than you appear, sir, I believe I will be sufficiently fine so long as I get some maintenance afterwards. Well, I don't value the intelligence of anyone who's ever called me dense, so we should be okay. Of course, sir. Can you climb up or do I need to bend down? I think I've got this. I've flown twice before. <laughs> Cut to an image where I have probably used a step ladder and I'm riding on CSD4's back, <laughs> heading off looking for a Nedra. Right. Trot, 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 trot. Is anyone else doing anything while the uh, Jawa is gone to storm the castle? I am leaning over the and monitor. pointing. Okay. Zisha? I'm going to check in on the power couplings every 30 minutes. All right. Give me an appropriate roll to perception, if nothing else. Ooh, crit success. One, one, two. <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice. The power couple. Oh, you see how you could adjust this a little bit? Make it look. Yeah, you could fit the, fit the thing in. You could. You know, power coupling looks to be fine. All the power seems to be going out appropriately. It's not drawing more power than it should. It's not drawing less power than it should. Nothing seems to be overheating. It's pretty good for a cobbled together thing that is, you know, someone did a good job with this. Okay. It doesn't appear to be trying to inject weird computer hacking code through the pulsing the power or anything weird. Yeah. You can... Other than that, once I'm done with my written Java, I'm going to go back to doing what I usually do on board ship. I'm not leaving the ship unless I have to. Okay. What do you usually do? General minor maintenance? I guess. Go around, make sure that everything looks okay. Um, All right. Okay. Zorok. <laughs> Is Zorok doing anything on the ship while Rotini goes off? overconfidently figuring that it can't be too hard to find one human. How many of them could there be on this planet? Ten? I remain concerned that a Jedi has been called to examine the situation. I You're am going to... considering what to do about it. Sorry, what were you saying? No, that's fine. That's... that's... Were you saying you were... Con you said that you were considering and then you stopped talking. I forgot, so it doesn't matter. Uh. I I think the way I was interpreting it, and this is in hindsight and brain fuzzy, but I think you were trying to rephrase what Eo was saying to show that you were understanding so sure what Eo was saying. Yeah. You yeah. started saying you're going to end it. No, I was, I was doing a question mark because I the because we are talking using the voice chat, and I cannot actually see whether or not you are still in a talking mode and you were pausing so I was trying to keep it in my own head keep the unfinished sentence in my own head so I didn't lose it that made more sense when I was trying to, to think it in my head and it I, what is brain? I'm going to I'm going to roll self-control ooh that's a failure oh uh, Zorok eats Zorok all of the cookies is no <laughs> I do not have that disadvantage. Zorok decides that no, being in the vicinity is not too much of a risk and is going to leave the ship to find a place to attempt to stake out the Jedi. <laughs> the two people who really should not have left the ship unsupervised have left the ship I've unsupervised. Left the ship. I am so sorry. <laughs> no, no. As someone who is usually the GM, I'm looking at this and saying, this, this is the thing that makes GMs happy. 
if they enjoy chaos. I am sorry for Zisha. Oh, no. When Zisha realizes that the passenger is gone and the researcher is gone, it is out of the ship and whatever the droid's name is, C4. Mm-hmm. CSD4. CSD4. is out of the ship. I mean, I've worked on it. And Rolak is out of the ship. <laughs> C4, yeah. <laughs> and Rotini is out of the ship. <laughs> Zisha is going to do the one thing that she has wanted to do for weeks. There's a record scratch, and we and see Zisha she has... slide in from the side of the doorway in socks. <laughs> lip syncing to a song on a full um, volume. Zisha? The funny thing is, almost exactly that. <laughs> because what she wants to do, what she wants to do is tidy. That's nothing like tidy. what I said. <laughs> okay, my, my scene, headphones are being weird. That scene is when he's cleaning the house. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, only that scene. Yeah, he's mopping the floor. See, I she's going to mopping around. Functional. Yep. <laughs> In socks. Playing music and tidying things up. Okay, that's fair. Everybody's out, so I can get into all the rooms. I can put things where they should be. I can organize things. I can get things neat and tidy. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's in the house because he's housekeeping, so he's tidying up. Rotini is going to return to this ship and not know where anything is. Rotini will know where everything is because Zisha has a secret weapon. Zisha has a dino labeler. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't understand. the The spoon drawer is where you put the power couplings. I always go to the That's spoon right. drawer for the power couplings. I just yeah. Zisha's gonna over. tidy up and and she's right. gonna cook and flash freeze like a couple days worth of meals just so we have something to eat quickly if we need to. So. As a she, teacher, she has the time. She can make a whole lasagna. And Garfield won't even bother you. <clears throat> so, as a teacher, every now and then we have a day where the students don't come in, but the teachers still report to the building. And mm -hmm. we do things like grade or tidy our rooms or you know, whatever teachers do when students aren't in the building. They are the most productive days ever. We get so much done. And I imagine this is exactly what Zisha is doing, where the ship <laughs> has never, but it has, well, has, never is the wrong word. It has not been this organized and this clean in months. You're fairly certain she's taking a that the floor sparkles. She's taking a Dremel to the edge of the, uh, the smuggler's hold panel so that they're actually flush with the rest of the floor now. <laughs> He's just there with a laser level, just checking me to make sure. Oh, no, this corner right here. <laughs> I love every moment of You'll this. Have to, make sure, have to make sure all the other panels are, are uh, level as well. Otherwise, it's like, why is this one so smooth? Yeah, well, exactly. There, there's a wall panel that's okay. scrubbing with a toothbrush. <laughs> you got to get into those little crevices. You got to. I have a question for Zwolrock. The stealth defaults to IQ minus five, and that is a success by zero. And Very nice. I will also roll mind shield. That would probably be very useful. And that is a success by six on mind shield. Okay, I'm going to note that down. Where are you um, planning on setting yourself up hiding, etc. Et ah, here's that. I'm not really sure what um, the setting is, so to speak. Okay. I mean, sort yeah, of that, that kind of... I, I'm just going to grab the, the area, a uh, nice location, and sort of like that, only... Yeah, that is house wrist, isn't it? That is house wrist. That's what, <laughs> that's what uh, Google tells me. That's what... Yep, I remember Switter. those steps. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, big spiny things that appear to have space between them might be good hiding spots. Rocks might be good hiding spots if you have a cloak that can cover up your terrible brightly colored clothing. Mm-hmm. You do have that cloak. 
It covers up your skin. It covers up your brightly colored clothing, which is very amazingly nice, but also it is vivid. Yes. We'll, we'll go with vivid. Point. Yes, it is vivid. It's obviously supposed to be vivid, but it it's vivid. Yeah. Very vivid. So I think this Walrock is going to accede to the demands of a nickname that I'm not sure they've heard Rotini call them, or if they have, it was only once, and pretend to be a rock. Okay. And you did roll your stealth, and you rolled your mind shield. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh... Explain what Zisha wants to test the creaker, TM. The creaker. I'm going to just pause here because what? The creaky floorboard all over the place. <laughs> Attachment to those two floor panels inside the two hatches that, when the creaker is activated, broadcasts the sound to every speaker on the ship sounds like a creaky floorboard. <laughs> Presumably when they step on it. Yes, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. And so if somebody is thinking... About an hour. Sorry. We, yes, we should probably take a break soon. Yes. Let's okay. take a break. Okay. Good idea. Press the button. I think both times I've pressed the button during this recording session, I have hit it as you were saying, press the button. So we get a bit of you saying that cut off. Tin, 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 tin. Why do we well, even have that let me tin sample anyway? That and remix it and put a nice techno beat underneath it. We'll be good. <laughs> tin, tin, tch, tch, tin, boots tin, tch, tch. And Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. Konnichiwa, konnichiwa. No. Okay, so <laughs> we have all the table talk. <laughs> so Zorok is being one with the rock, and, and the rock is, is with them. Uh, presumably <laughs> some... Many rocks are with me. <laughs> right. Presumably you're trying to find some location where you can look where someone might be flying in on a, a small shuttle or speeding up on a speeder, air car, whatever, right? Yes. Okay. We will assume that you're managing to do that. Oh, and you can catch a l- glimpse of, yep, there goes the droid piggybacking your Jawa Rotini. Switch to camera pans from Zulrock looking at this down to Rotini, who is approaching the top of the ramp and finding a actually relatively unscathed statue that's sort of like I don't know, two wings that are coming together. It has these green uh, concentric diamond shapes on a couple of flags and it looks like people have been trying to make things look normal again and the statue is only lightly damaged. You know, Somebody can fix that eventually, right? Right. I definitely do not get a few screenshots of my character standing in front of that while I wait for the rest of my party to arrive. (laughs) <laughs> thank you i'm here all week no no you're not you're not going into a boss instance really now hopefully uh, well hopefully because i'm trying to solo this with only a helper npc <laughs> i'm just looking for a researcher that's how it usually works that's how it usually works with switor that's, that's standard standard it's all right if you get into a fight you can call me look the only reason in our first fight that I backed off is because Zisha asked me nicely. Zisha isn't here. If I get into a fight, I intend to end it so the fight doesn't happen <laughs> again. This will not be like going into an instance in Star Wars, because those are repeatable. There is no, only one person. Generally. There is only one oh. person who has ever asked, successfully asked me to stop blowing things up. She is back on the ship. You are in front of me. If you value your lives, <laughs> stand down. I got that reference. <laughs> <laughs> Only I'm a bit short for a Mimbari. <laughs> we are At really the moment, you're like six and a half feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a six and a half foot tall bomb. I'm a six and a half foot tall bomb. Sir, I am not. <laughs> You're not. You should not misrepresent such <laughs> things. Don't make the droid fling you in the air and scream and run away. You're going to have to toss me. <laughs> oh. Yes, but you're not a small goblin. And the, the rails? What rails? There are no rails. 
<laughs> Where we're going, we don't need we rails. We don't need rails. Okay, so we're going for the maximum number of reference science fiction genres possible, correct? Because I think that's what we're trying to do. It's <laughs> happening organically. <laughs> <laughs> That makes it even better. Anyway, I want to try to ring the doorbell. Um, CSD4 might need to crouch down slightly for me to be able to reach the doorbell. I've gone from being too short to being too tall. Um, but I do want to ring the doorbell and ask Actually, if Nedra is here. The, there's a pair of tall doors behind... No, she, well, you never know. There's a pair of tall, tall doors behind the statue that you pass the, the attractive... You know, hi, we're powerful, important people. Uh, I'm sure decorations. They are. And they actually are somewhat ajar and have various droids and people going in and out trying to, you know, go to ladders and whatnot that are on the walls just beyond because there's there's holes in the roof and they are trying to get at them from both sides, apparently. <laughs> the doors so ajar. The doors ajar. Don't have- the door the, is a jar. No, the doors are not the jar. The jar is the thing we're worried about. They took that inside. They did, in fact. They did, in fact. That's and, true. And I'm about to go inside. I have some mm-hmm. misgivings about this, but also I'm overconfident and riding a droid. Mm-hmm. That's an out-of-context quote. <laughs> Darn it right is. it is. <laughs> And he might not feel be necessarily like faster than me, but his legs are longer. <laughs> mm-hmm. The droid will pause and wait for Utini, Rotini to point the direction. Um, I take a look at which way the traffic seems to mostly be moving and assume that somebody who hasn't been able to sleep because everything is too loud would likely not be heading in the direction that most beings are going. And point in a direction where they're not going. Well, that would be back the way you came, really. But the direction if you're where most of them are not going go... without leaving. Ah. I don't expect no, no traffic, but I expect less traffic. Okay, so you're going to try going inside and looking around, presumably? She was looking for this a library just sort or something. Of Actually, it yep. was Rocky looking for the library, but... Yeah, they're both looking for a library, really. Okay. She did say they... something about a library when she wandered off. They got blended together in my head, and therefore also in uh, Rotini's head. Huh. And even if not in my head, then definitely in Rotini's head. Um, <laughs> be careful. I may turn Blend Rotini tech. into a Kevin. Blend Tech presents. Will it Rotini? <laughs> I, I really... The disturbing thing is the answer is yes, but we can never come back here if we discover this. <laughs> Boom. Also, we'll be down one player character. Boom. <laughs> the player character won't be um, Zulrock. It'll be Rotini, because if Rotini attempts this, it will be Rotini's end. But never mind about that. Oh. Pressed into a cube. Anyway, yeah, I'm going off searching for Nedra. All right. You wander in inside, and it looks like an opulent house in shades of gold and green that has well it is clearly it was not built to endure things dropping near it at least but you know there's there's people been cleaning up there's lights strung up that you know they're probably being powered by your ship honestly and you know solar panels are up covering some of the holes in the roof and you can wander around and it seems to be getting a bit less damaged in certain locations. Go ahead, give me a perception roll. Okay, that's an 8, and my perception is 15. So, just made it. Just made it. Oh, yeah, the, you know, looking around here, it's it's a structural thing, and you can tell where the damage damaged areas were, and you don't think she's going to go to the damaged areas. You think she's going to go deeper in. I really so, don't think that she's going to go to a... anywhere where we currently hear someone hammering. Exactly. And why would anyone hammer near a library? It's supposed to be quiet in libraries, right? Okay. With that. Oh, you... this explains a lot. I and here you thought that I'm librarians just like to pitch. Yeah, whoops. Zisha, are you making crits again? 
almost a crit. It's a six, though. Made by seven. This place is sparkling, Zisha. This place is sparkling. I just wanted I to click this... something. Hmm? <laughs> just wanted to what? I just wanted to click something, and I figured Crewman was the appropriate yeah, I think thing for what I was doing. Yeah, I think you're right. That's what I would have selected, too. Um, yeah, that you're, this place is going to be really great. It, it's great that you got everybody out of there. Yeah. So after a little bit of wandering around, Rotini finds it. It looks like it's nice and quiet. It's got a bunch of old style books on the walls. It's got a whole bunch of, you know, singles purpose data pads just filed along the place. It's got nice, comfortable chairs. They're all too big for you, but they they look like they'd be comfortable. You could curl up in those, you know. I don't have time for curling up in a very comfy chair that is eerily calling to me. I need to find the researcher to ask a question that I barely remember what it is. Well, fortunately, you're pretty tall right now, and you can spot a head covering. Oh, right, that, that stuff is hair that looks the same color as the researcher but over there the researcher? in that that well you might have to get a little closer to tell but you have a good you have a good feeling about this My because she's sort of has indicated that more than one biologic can have the same color hair it's it's odd. true but that much of frazzling that is I mean, some very unique just, frazzling that is unique frazzling yeah i think i'd know those split ends anywhere yep she's so tired her hair is tired well, you're not supposed to use the full body conditioner that actually wrecks the hair more. I mean, it's kind of debatable if she's been using conditioner at all or just sort of standing in the sonic shower and, and falling asleep. I thought it was malfunctioning. That might have been her snoring. Could have been. Still sonic. Anyway, yeah. I I am going to go over and try to gently wake her up. <laughs> oh, 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 Utini. I wave and I look over at CSD4 and I say, I am kind of touched that she tries. I just wish her sentence structure made any kind of sense. Yes, sir. I understand. What is it that you wish to ask her, sir? Um, first of all, question for the GM. Is it safe to assume yep. that since I'm the one who made the comment earlier about space ibuprofen, that I did, in fact, bring a med kit with painkillers? If you desire to do such a thing, that makes sense, sure. Okay. Um... First, I'm going to hand her some space ibuprofen and a glass of water. Oh, um, sure, why not? Thanks. Takes the space ibuprofen, chugs chugs them down, drinks all the water. Oh, that was good. I think I'd forgotten to drink enough water today. <sighs> yeah, Maybe I need hydrated. some calf. No. Otini to you too. <laughs> uh, CSD4, this is why I needed you to come along. I need to have a meaningful conversation, yes, and that's not going to happen if she keeps telling me what to do with the goldfish. Understood, sir. Although, what do you wish to that ask much her, oregano sir? would probably make it quite palatable. Sir, do you wish me to translate that? No. <laughs> I don't want to hurt her feelings before I ask, start asking questions. Uh, so Very well. I have questions about... The person she worked with previously, uh, Dr. I check my notes and I have Tiny Llewellyn written, then crossed out, then Tiny Llewellyn written again, <laughs> and crossed out, then Tiny crossed out, Dr. T crossed out, and on the back of the page, it actually says, Linny Tillo, I, Tillo, Tillo, I hold the paper up. I have questions about this guy and if they continue to do You're research after they parted ways. CSD4 explains this, prefacing it with the magnificent Rotini, <clears throat> requests to ask you, and then actually translates. She looks at it, and she looks at it, and she puts a hand to her head. I'm reading and... the label of the space ibuprofen to see how long it takes to kick in. Wow, that headache started fast. Oh. Doctor, Doctor Llewellyn, he, I, oh my head, I, I can't, I can't. Change, change of topic, change of topic. If uh, I was looking up research papers, just general yes. research papers, where would I go 
to access them. I keep encountering paywalls. Is there is there a trick to it? Oh, um, it depends on the research. Yes, I can research. I'm I'm researching here, so uh, it depends on what research you're you're looking for. Uh, you you should you should put the kind of of paper that you're interested in the topic, and um, you should probably be looking at. She gives you a couple of of names you know th those those are good for like mineral research and oh okay i'm writing this down i was using space duck space duck go that that's that's fine you just have to know you have to tell it to be looking at those the i mean it has a much better search engine capability than the integral ones there they they use space google uh oh oh my head what was i trying to remember i can't remember anymore uh i was asking you about uh the university you were working with before your current research oh yes uh that was that was oh oh headache um here coruscanti uh district 75 uh i can never pronounce it it's it was named after some wookie or other i think I have locations, I, I have a university, I have a name, and uh -huh. I have better searching uh -huh. strategies than I had before. She That's actually has here. research skill. She actually well, has research skill. I had no doubt. My worry was that mm -hmm. I would ask a question that would trigger the headache, and I was unfortunately correct. Mm-hmm. Fascinating that. Okay. Um, one more question, and it, it's about this planet. And I know you were asking us questions about the planet, but I'm curious if you've heard of anywhere where um, the Jedi might maintain a library about, like, their history and stuff? Oh, um, that would presumably be in one of the capital cities or something. Uh, oh, one of the primary or, targets I mean, there for might the be something. Uh, uh, yeah, probably. There might be yeah. something in here. Honestly, you could... Probably there's a little terminal over there. Do you want me to operate the terminal for you? It, it's a little tall. Uh, if you don't mind, I I know you you've got a, a splitting headache, and I don't want to be too much trouble. It's all right if I'm if I'm doing research about things. It, it's kind of soothing. Think of it as researching sightseeing opportunities. That might help. Sure. All right, we're sightseeing for libraries about Jedi. Tra -la, la la Scroll, scroll, scroll. Just a moment while I scroll just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes it. And let's just make this roll for fun. Ooh, that's a nice roll. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice roll for some things. <laughs> um, right. It's it's over here. Right over here. Um, She wanders off into the bookshelves and reaches way up high. And pulls My, down. That's a tall one. It this gets translated. Yes, yeah, it kind of is. Here you go. Thank you. I am going to curl up on one of the chairs to read this thing because I'm not taking a book out of this place. I'm overconfident. Probably a good idea. You're overconfident. You're not um, a, a kleptomaniac. Look, if it comes to the need to level this place with an a centrifugal oil bath rigged to explode, then I'm willing to do that. But I'm not taking a book out of their library. Idea. Tisha, make sure a memory of the gun turret controls is the same as the gun turret controls. And mostly, I mean, Brotini's been making upgrades occasionally. It, in my head canon, one of us prefers an inverted control scheme and the other one prefers a control scheme that isn't. I don't know which is which. And it's possible neither does Rotini. <laughs> so it might well, not matter. I'm suggesting that anybody can change. Them. This is entirely informed. This is entirely informed by the RV last weekend having its uh, gear shift where my car's windshield wipers are. Oh, Ooh. I hope that didn't cause any problems. I turned on the windshield wipers several times while I was trying to put the car in the drive. Uh, that beats uh, the other possibility. 
Yes. Yeah, I, I was taking it out of park every time. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just picturing the rain starting I'm to come down be... and Ellie slows down because now it's in first gear. Everyone thinks, well, she's just being a very safe driver. Mm-hmm. I mean, both my car and the RV are automatic transmissions. So it was just a matter of figuring out where the uh, where the gear, gear shift actually was. There you go. Well, I got a book to read, so probably a good time to smash cut to somebody else. It's going to be taking a while for you to get through this thing, which mostly appears to be a history of Alderanian Force users. So... At least that's what the starting point is. I am so, going to be taking notes. To... And by taking notes, I mean I'm going to be taking pictures of every page as I flip through. That's... The history of Alderanian Force users. A to AF. <laughs> it appears to be by date. Not by alphabet. Not by alphabetical. Which is both better and worse. There's a large index, though. Smash cut to Zwolrock. Perch, perch, perch. Oh, yes. I should make a roll, shouldn't I? I'm going to make a roll. Let's see. Give me that. Okay. Okay. What comes in is a single person air car, which comes flying up. You can make a perception roll if you wish. Zwolrock can. All right. Um, One moment. I am pulling out my sheet. I see it, but it's a little bit difficult for you to both mind shield and detect whether there's a Jedi on that. So they're going to have to, they go okay. over and they go land basically right beside, I mean, not right beside, they aren't scratching the paint or anything, but down by the ship. And someone hops out wearing the sort of beiges and browns that honestly have probably been like a Jedi outfit from time immemorial. You know, they, they got the tunic, they got the brown over jacket thing. Male, human, has a little braid. Starts, sort of looks at the place, takes a deep breath, and starts trekking up the stairs. Well, not stairs. They're, it's a ramp at the moment. There might have been stairs there once, but a ramp is a lot easier to clear and, and make usable again after a few things that made shrapnel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. So I should be looking for a different bind. Never mind. Um, for the listeners at home, there is a crossed out message from an EO that says, if this is Nomar Organa, I will yell. The people in this recording are not prone to random laughter. It is always <laughs> as a response. <laughs> to some type of shenaniganery. He appears to have some facial hair. <laughs> Looks fairly tanned. <laughs> it's well trimmed, short facial hair. It's fairly tanned. Did you, you Google nice? this <laughs> particular person after your offspring suggested it? <laughs> and by suggested it, I mean insisted that it not be. <laughs> Which in this group is really the same thing. <laughs> go with a younger more trimmed version of what I'm about to post and wearing some somewhat more traditional outfit are you alright is it just me or is he blushing he appears to have I seen think something supposed- embarrassing him right now his no, mom has shown up himself. with I mean, the family photo Charlie. album and baby pictures <laughs> Well, given that he's engaged to... <clears throat> he's not engaged at the moment. I can't remember if that's yet or anymore. It's yet. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, this is why I was having polarities about the fact that you people wanted a Jedi. You asked for a Padawan. You asked. I didn't ask for a Padawan. Zisha asked for a Padawan. <laughs> this is Zisha's fault. This is Zisha's fault. I asked for a paddleboard. <laughs> and they said, do you mean a Padawan? <laughs> I need... That's an expert. <laughs> and they sent a Padawan, who happened to be on planet. 
<laughs> and now everyone is is posting uh Obi Wan gifts where yeah. <laughs> Well, not all Obi-Wan gifts. There's also one from Deus Ex saying, I never asked for this. Well, all right. Anyway, so this apparently a Padawan has a funky little braid going down, you know, beside one ear, is trekking up the thing, and uh, I don't, and absent uh, Zulrock doing anything special is going to get up to the doors, the same doors that Rotini went through, and look around a little bit, shrug, and head in. You know, I didn't really have a plan past this. <laughs> Soul Rock is realizing there was no plan. <laughs> there no, there was no one. plan. There was only deep suspicion about Jedi. My plan it's ended before I got to the doors. Uh-huh. Honestly, Soul Rock, this is a Jedi. It's kind of disappointing. It's this, this, this a human and doesn't look particularly, you know, seven feet tall, breathing fire or, or anything. It, and it has terrible beige fashion sense. It's not colorful. It, it's not wandering around waving a lightsaber all the time. They're weird, pale, ice-colored lightsabers. And, I mean, you could try some more perception rolls to get a sense of how powerful that was. One moment. Okay. I, will, I will pull up the... I don't know how that ended up down there. <laughs> There's a point at which the Jedi is closer to you and adequately powerful. I mean, you, you wouldn't think that this would absolutely die walking around on Korriban or something, but not, you know, not more powerful than a lot of people you've sensed before you know probably around your your level of power but you're honestly just a little bit disappointed at how normal a jedi padawan is they have a weird presence in the force that that seems kind of wishy-washy it doesn't seem like they should be able to use the force at all because they, they have no willpower behind it but it's there. Perhaps I will wait for him to come out again. Reasonable. Reasonable. All right. If so I do you... interact with him in any way, I do not want to be doing it in there where all the Iranians could come out and make a fuss. There is some comment that the place was recently invaded by the Sith Empire, and you don't really know... Um, I mean... You you are kind of color coded here. Mm -hmm. You're you're, I mean you're you're not huge for assists, but you are kind of red. I don't know what orange. you're talking about. Orange. They are but, just yeah. a rock, an average, somewhat canvas colored rock. I mean, there's a lot of canvas colored rocks around here. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it's hard to be a canvas colored rock if you walk inside the building. Yes. This is why I do not wish to go in. And you, you could push a rock, you could get above the building and then push another rock off and, and try to cling to it as it flies down and crashes through the roof. I mean, and, if, if oh. you could fly like me, you could hover up near the ceiling and no one ever looks up. But unfortunately, you can't fly like I can. <sighs> Someday I will teach you my ways. Nor do I want to, nor do I want to jump up there. You're boing, lost. Boing, boing. <laughs> Okay, um, Zisha, you might want to make a... Or if you're going in and out of the uh, cockpit where there's actually windows, or going out the door, looking out the door, you might notice this if you desire to, or make a perception roll if you can't decide if you want to, or notice there's a car nearby the ship at some point. Up to Zisha. Oh, hey, look, you, there's a skimmer hover car thing coming in, and it's landing, and... <clears throat> Yep, that, that sure does look like a Jedi that you've seen. You know, you, you watch uh, dramatic, you know, whole of vids. So, yeah, you know what Jedi look like. That looks like one. A little scruffy, maybe. Kind of young for a Jedi, but you did ask for a Padawan. Oh, good. They sent somebody to take a look. And I'm going to keep mm -hmm. Okay. 
Back to Rotini. I, I love how Zisha sees the Padawan arrive. <laughs> like, oh good, things are progressing exactly according to plan. Rotini, no idea there's a Padawan there at all. Rocky, Padawan arrives. Panic. I it's love everything about this. Panic? It's just kind of, um, you know, concerned. It's the most panic we have ever panic. seen from Rocky. Yeah, well, Which okay. is mild caution <clears throat> and pretending to be a rock. Yes, well... The last time they were concerned, they levitated someone's secretary. Actually, no. The last mean. time they were concerned, they forced lightning a metapod into charred rock and gravel. Yes. That was the last time they were concerned. It might have been Pupa. It might have been Pupa or something. I'm pretty it sure was it was a, a Pokemon. You did not catch that one. No, no, we did catch patch. it. That's why we fried it. <laughs> it, it was caught in Zorok's If Zorok we had not sites. caught it, we would have gotten... If we had not caught it, we would have gotten in trouble with those, um, with pastas. Yes, the water planet that uh, did not want to have any weird organic life forms imported that it didn't know about. That we, we lost them a the favor recording and, of. And did we get any thanks for it, or did they try to impound Zisha's ship? That was because one of the people who is a friend of the person who thinks that Zisha's ship should belong to him, was there and spotted Zisha's ship and said it was stolen and was, you know, rich enough that they want to impound it while they sorted it all out. But everything got sorted out. It was fine. Yes. Absolutely fine. And I only bring this up because that was in the you... lost episode. So now we have a recap. Right. And you, <laughs> you got your, pa your old Iranian passenger to say that they were actually part of a noble house and they had to go on the ship because, you know, they, they would be impeded otherwise. And they used that as legal excuse to let you people go away. If they'd mentioned which noble it house, did mean, we might have been able to leave faster. Possibly. It did mean that you did not have a chance to scrin scrounge around and pick up any um, uh, cargo on that planet. And then you came directly to Alderaan, so your holds were basically empty. And that's why it was so very tempting that... They were offering to pay you to just hang around, which, you know, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. It's a good also, deal. we're here to solve a mystery and eat Scooby snacks, and I'm all out of Scooby snacks. But I have this. That's why Zisha's cooking. Oh, yeah. Um, they're rotini snacks. And yes. I have this fascinating book that as I've been flipping through, I have been using my data pad to take a picture of every single page because I'm probably going to miss right something. Direction. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Copyright violation. Oh, well. Well, I'm overconfident that this counts as fair use. Fair enough. <laughs> which, as we all know, is something that gets settled in a court of law. So even if there's two mm -hmm. parties that disagree, one party is not automatically right. You do have to be in front of a judge. And by then, we will probably have nuked this place from orbit because the horrible pickle thing will have escaped and be <laughs> killing everyone. Um. No, Ellie, I wouldn't download a Jedi. We had one delivered. DoorDash. Yeah, pretty much. Not that Rotini knows anything about that. As I've been flipping through taking photos in this book, is there anything that stands out to me? Um, some of the things that stand out are actually things along the lines of, you know, established a small force enclave on Alderaan, blah, blah, blah. Uh, defended the force enclave while everyone was evacuating because the giant bugs were invading, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, for the record, I have you, you made could... three, three research rolls this evening, and they have each been a 12. Well, those were, seem to be the exciting things. First of all, there was the one about founding an enclave, which sounds like it might be where they'd have a force thingy library. That was That was interesting. Oh, yeah. And then there was the fighting bit, which was about fighting the large uh, Alderanian bug things that were overrunning the place because they apparently like erupt occasionally, like cicadas or something. Ooh, teeny. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, quite large. Quite large. Oh, yeah, here's a picture. Uh -huh. Quite large. Ooh, large. Kind of. Mm hmm. <laughs> Let's see. What are those things called again, Eo? Killix. Yeah, the Killix. That's right. Yes, the bugs are called Killix. And they are, in fact, quite large. They are human-sized, many of them. 
and they apparently have some kind of primitive uh, intelligence or at least tool use ability because well, they will use tools to attack. Well, I'm not a lick, so I'm probably okay. You might be too small to notice. That will be their downfall. So, yeah, there's there's stuff about you know Jedi who, you know, Alderanian Jedi who tamed the flying Thranta things, <clears throat> and you know would ride them without any kind of harness or anything. The and space you know, there's that pterodactyl person. Pterodactyl mermaids. Yeah, the space mer merdactyls that that fly. They're actually commonly used on Alderaan as a low tech of. Uh, very scenic kind of transport. You know, you fly from one place to another, and you know, is there, that there's why they uh, sent Namor oh. the Jedi. <laughs> we broke Crash. the GM. We broke the GM. It was a team effort. Ellie was the one who made the Namor reference earlier. <laughs> Two sessions in a row. <laughs> I'm a fragile GM. What can I say? You people are so cruel to me. Excuse you. You okay, sent a so thermos against us. We had no choice. It was self-defense. So, as you're reading, a young human, young, well, I mean, not young, young, you know, young adult human in a, with a beard, wearing some of those weird brown, boring robes, pokes his head in. Excuse and you, goes, I'm wearing weird me. brown, boring robes. I think he's yes, a but yours fashion. are a darker brown. Okay, well, true. No. He has too much light beige. It, my only problem with his fashion sense is he's him. not wearing his hood up like he's supposed to. He's not. It's not even clear if he has hood on this. Well, you know, I've kind of gotten used to people not wearing it properly. Clear if his over robes have a hood. It, you know, they they might just be deficient. Well. He's still wearing a robe, which is, he's trying more than most. So I'm going to give he credit calls, for that. He calls out, excuse me? Um, I, I will hold a finger to my asked, lips and say, oh, teeny. And then point over at the sleeping researcher. Yeah, she did kind of, she, she looks like she was researching something back on her data pads. And then she just sort of thud. Yeah. And she keeps sort of jerking herself up and trying to read a little bit longer and then going thud. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, excuse me. Uh, can I, you tell me who asked for a Jedi? I am going to make a note of what page I'm on because dog earing books is for thieves and murderers. Mm -hmm. Also rampaging barbarians. Mm -hmm. And close the book gently and walk over so mm -hmm. that I can whisper without fear of disturbing the sleeping researcher. Are you here about the pickle? You're the droid comes over and the Jedi says, Utini? He does not speak Jawa. Good thing I have the, droid the protocol will... droid next to me. <laughs> yes, the protocol droid says, Shall I translate, sir? Yes, Quietly. And, and please ixnay on the magnanimous okay. stuff. Like, it's, I, I don't need that. And it's a lot of extra syllables. The Honorable Rotini asks, says that there is a face. You palm. are here about an invisible face is the palm. pickle. <laughs> oh, it wasn't magnanimous. It was just honorable. This is this is a step down. It's, it's a step down. I take a deep breath and let it out in a, in the universal. I am finding my happy place, which may or may not be a blast crater, <laughs> but you know whatever. Um, mm -hmm. the Jedi doesn't know this. So, no, no. Just as long pickle? story short. Translate, well, translate, translate. Long story short, er, can't really make it short. I and the rest of our crew were paid to transport an Alderanian here. They had a thermos with them that gave us all the creeps. It was unlike everything else they were carrying. Uh -huh. And that set off a lot of warning flags because a lot of what they had was. How do I put this? Alderanian. Alderanian. Yes. I know what my people are like. The thermos was very... He says. Not. And some some weird things were happening on the ship on the way there. Like, she hasn't gotten a good night's rest yet. She keeps hearing voices. I tried making a Faraday cage. That did nothing. So you think there's some kind of 
Sith artifact or something in the in the thermos? We don't tend to immediately jump to source, but we think something's weird, and I haven't found anything sciency about it. So if it's not science, it might be mass and acceleration. Wait, that's also science. Capital F. Oh, okay. Yeah, force. Might be force. Yeah, that's that's not well, if it turns out to be science after all, I will have to go away again, but, you know, that's fine. Also, when we mentioned it to the people who run this place, they didn't say, oh, yes, it's totally harmless. They mentioned how they were taking the proper precautions. Okay, that does sound weird. Yeah, I thought uh, so, too. Don't, don't suppose you can direct me to some of the, I don't know, Major Domo, somebody who's actually... Runs this place? Um, I met him, but I, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't paying a lot of attention. I was busy plugging a bunch of extension cores together and finding the red adapter. They're paying us I guess to, I'll go looking. to power this place from our ship because, you know, orbital bombardment does a number on generators. Yeah, they were targeting generators. Yeah. They probably sent people in to blow up the generators of any place they couldn't occupy. Oh, no, no, the generators here were fine. They were taken by the army. I mean, donated to the army. Mm, yeah, that too. Yeah. That's well, what I was there's paying a lot more to. people. There's a lot more people down in the town than there are in the noble houses, and everybody here could probably find some place oh, like a nice. Oh, I'm not. I'm not prefab. complaining on their behalf. Don't get me wrong. One, you're absolutely right. Your, your case is, makes total sense to me. And also, we're getting paid to give them power from our generator. Good point. Good choices. Got it. Okay. I guess I'll go look around and try and find somebody. Um, I, I look over at CSD4 assume... with a look that if CSD4 could see into the void, would, CSD4 would realize that the look says, you see, some people think I make good choices. <laughs> and I was actually looking... Over to the side and up when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Not. I'm going to follow this Jedi. Well, I'll go. This seems interesting. Okay. You walk out. Give me. He, he starts wandering down the corridors, sort of looking for somebody who does not look like they're just far too busy to talk to. And <clears throat> I would like a perception roll from Rotini. I keep rolling just three dice, but I want to see if I can actually do this properly. Open your character sheet and made it by four. Okay. You're being followed by your researcher, actually. She seems to have woken up and she's sort of trailing along with dark circles under her eyes. Kind of. I mean, she's tired, so that's probably why she's looking kind of glassy eyed. Either that or she's sleepwalking. <laughs> I am going to tug on the Jedi's robe a little bit and motion for him to yeah. slow down. That way we can do it faster and not require a translator and play Whisper Down the Alley. And point back at the researcher uh -huh. following us and motion for her to catch up. The player has misgivings <laughs> about this. The player has misgivings <laughs> about this. But Rotini is overconfident and I'm not making a roll to counteract that. No, you shouldn't. You definitely shouldn't. Okay. She comes up and, hi, uh, you're a Jedi. They, right, uh, Utini, 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 Rotini, that's right, that's your name, right? Was, they Close were, enough. they were looking for a Jedi library of some kind. Would you know where one is? Sort of like, uh, well, there were some in the capital city that got bombed. Mostly, the best libraries I know are on Coruscant, at the Jedi Temple there. So, they could travel to Coruscant uh, after a bit. Um, could probably send some messages. Uh, here, let me you know, talk to librarian Jenna Sin and just write oh, right, that down. There. You could send a message to her at the Coruscant Library and... That'd probably do just fine. My favorite thing about get, this is get, get everything I'm saying and doing is 100% truthful, but I am being so darn sneaky at the same time. <laughs> I'm not even telling half-truths, <laughs> yes, really. I'm just focusing on the core of it. 
the core of it is you want to find a Jedi library. It's like, yeah, sure, that's that's fine. Oh, oh no. The the reason for thinking about the Jedi library is because we have this passenger who is having trouble sleeping, and I've ruled out a science cause, so it's probably a force cause. Where are you going to find out information about the force? Hmm. Let me a Jedi think. library. That would make sense. That or a Sith library, and maybe no. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you could find a Sith library if you went looking for one in the Empire. I imagine we're probably closer I mean, to they... a Jedi library and closer to not being killed for it. I don't you want to be compressed not into get a cube. Killed. Yeah, I mean, I'm overconfident, so, but still. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen someone throw your explosives back at you without having to catch them? It's bad. I mean, neither have I, but I don't want to. Indeed. Also, I have this image I of... will be sure to demonstrate the technique if anyone throws explosives at us. Also, I have this terrifying dream of seeing 20 grenade pins fly out of my robe towards a force sensitive that's attacking us. Just the pins. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> uh, only for five seconds. But yes, it would be a problem. Okay, they're having a discussion about libraries as they sort of meander along, and you can keep hanging out with them if you want, and at the moment nothing else is being particularly interesting. Small furry creatures are occasionally crawling over the rocks and discovering that one of these rocks is not is, is its wool rock and running away again. Uh, Zisha's cleaning, Zisha's cooking... I am trying Eventually, to not think about how this guy is kind of cool, and he should probably meet my other friend, Rocky. You can think that all you want. The question is if you're going to try and perform introductions. No, that would require people skills. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> anyway, after a bit, a... Let's see. Oh, I, I should actually look and see if there's a picture I can get. Let me see if there's a picture. There's got to be a picture. Come on, give me a picture. Give me a picture. Give me a picture, I say. So I can at least do a description. Okay, so after a bit, a very frazzled young woman with dark hair, somewhat paler skin, comes up and, you know, she has like a smear of, of plaster board or whatever, you know, smear of plaster on her face because she's been doing something and says, Right, uh, I hear there's a Jedi around here for some reason. My name is Rahana. Can I help you? We've been talking about libraries. And I'm going to end it there before Eo screams at me. <laughs> can I end it there before Eo screams at me? Sure. I don't know. How fast can you end it? <laughs> <laughs> and there's our last out of context quote for the evening. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Shall we talk about how Eo's mom <laughs> writes be- books? At elizabeth-mccoy.com and I also will confess I write fan fiction under the name of Archangel Beth and at archiveofourown.org which I haven't written that many Star Wars, it's mostly Star Trek fanfic but anyway, if you want to actually give me money for some reason, you go to elizabeth-mccoy.com and you find like some of the books there and there's also some freebies and speaking of books and no, speaking of social media uh, no, and speaking of money. Money, yes, we're speaking all of, of money. Things. Duh. We have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Cogwheel Gaming. You can help us keep the lights on, along with other illustrious patrons, including Chris, Ellie, Eric, Shenshen, Walter, and patron emeritus Cindy. And until next, next time, time, this is. This is Beth to do dropping or I? more people. <laughs> this is Beth going. Oh, you're a Jedi. Haven't I seen you around House Organa? Yeah, yeah, kinda. Oh, what brings you here? And now, Blendit. Bye, doll! <laughs> <laughs>